Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Conversations with Eluciana, the house that Eluciana has built, where everyone has a place at the table. If you're a new listener, I bring you greetings and salutations. If you are a returning listener, welcome back, family. Real talk on real issues, real life situations. Keep in mind, advice is never given, but opinions and a new perspective is always welcome. You can find me on most podcast streaming services as well as YouTube under Conversations with the Luciana. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure to turn on your notifications to know when the next Conversation with the Luciana are posted. My posting schedule is as follow: Motivational Monday, Inspirational Empowerment Tuesday, Open Form Thursday, Coffee and Tea with the Luciana on Sundays. YouTube exclusives are on Mondays and Saturdays. If you would like to submit a topic of conversation or be a guest on a podcast episode of Conversations with the Luciana, email me at conversationswithiluciana at gmail.com. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a good one. Let's go. So remember when I said I'm going to give much love and support to all my sisters, but to my plus size sisters, um, I'm going to always ride and die with you guys because you're beautiful. You're amazing. Um, just because you have um, extra love handles does not mean that you are sloppy or unhealthy or whatever uh, stigma that society want to place on us. I'm a rock with y'all. I'm a rock with y'all. And I remember stating earlier that this new celebrity trend um, that people have that you have to, you know, lose the weight and be a size almost zero. Um, you know, if you were a plus size actress or singer, I'm not saying that it, you know, everybody has to make their choices, but you know, you your, your fan base, you know, sometimes you, it looks like you're kind of Although you might say it's for health reasons. I know I did when I was damn near almost, um, I think I was hitting 300. Um, I lost the weight for health reasons because I wanted to be more active with my son. And I decided to change uh, my lifestyle for that reason. And, you know, whatever personal choice that you have and that you make, it's your choice. And people shouldn't criticize you for it. But also it's kind of like in that um, cesspool of being successful. You have to look a certain way. Um, you can have a baby and then two days later, you look like you don't have a baby. Well, we don't have access to personal trainers, personal chefs. We don't have nutritionists. You know, there's people that, you know, we don't have the time, you know, and sometimes the, um, ability or resources, I should say, to do things. Um, gym memberships make their money January, February, in March, they actually start in December, um, and most people can't afford that, you know, to go to the gym, and then they don't want to be body shamed, and I'm really tired of the body shaming that goes on when it comes to plus size women. There's not a lot of um, clothes that um, designers that design clothes to fit us. Um, people often say that you know, well, you need to lose the weight in order to fit into something more designer or expensive, and that's not fair, but that's life. But I'm always going to rock with y'all. I'm always going to support y'all. You know, I do not, I I talk about you too, when you guys, you know, uh, wear stuff that clearly you should not be wearing, fitting. You can't fit. Um, If you have the confidence to wear it, then go ahead. But you know, you are subject to the ridicule, the the, uh, people poking fun at you. If you're wearing a sheer, uh, something sheer and you have a thong on and you know you got a lot of uh extra love handles you know people are going to kind of like look at you a different way I'm not saying that you can't wear it not saying that you shouldn't wear it but you know you just don't want that type of attention if you do you got to be careful and mindful of the people that will um spew uh, negative comments but yeah you know it's kind of like you know We look at certain people and say, oh, they look just like us and they can relate to us. But on the other hand, you know, then you see a different trend where you see people want to be thin and all these muscles. And, you know, it's it's I I tell you, you know, when I lost the weight, 
um, I was still the same person. Um, I didn't feel um, a shell of myself. I accepted myself whether I was big or small. But I do know that people treated me a little bit different um, because I lost the weight. But you know what? Hey, I I gained some pounds back and I'm happy. You know, I'm happy with my life. And that's where you have to be. You know, you have to be happy with your life. Do it for health. You know, do it for health. There are some people that make fun of their size because they don't want other people to make fun of themselves. Don't do that. You're beautiful. You are beautiful. You know, and, you know, weight does not make the person, the heart, the mind. Um, To me, the spirit that lies within makes the person. I do not judge people um, because of their size, you know, um, or what they look like. But, you know, it's now the big versus the small when we should encourage each other that we're beautiful no matter what skin we're in. You can um, work out and be big, you know, and be beautiful. I'm going to keep saying beautiful because that's what you are. Everybody, all my sisters, whether you're skinny or, or, or plus size, you're beautiful. Um, it's just like the, um, I would say the natural hair trend. You know, if you, if you're wearing, um, you know, any braids or lace fronts or weaves, you know, or you want to rock the natural look, that's, that's on you. Whatever you decide to change yourself into to become the woman that you need to become, then you do it. But yeah, a lot of people are out there just, you know, been in their narrative that we all have to look a certain way. No, there's more love for everybody. It's just a preference or a choice. But yeah, I, I knew eventually, um, you know, fans were going to, or people who admire, respect celebrities would and eventually, I knew you guys had a voice. And he was like, come on now, you know, um, I, could, I, I saw somebody that looked like me, um, even if you do it together, you know, where you lose the weight together. Um, I think um, I remember I don't uh, about what two three years ago Kevin Hart was doing this challenge that fell off when he was going to different cities inspiring people but you know what I feel like you have to make it where it's accessible for all um, if that's something that I decided to do I want to incorporate everybody to jump on this train and I'm like if you want to do it do it you know let's do it together let's be healthy you know. I'll show you the pain. I want to show you the struggle, you know. But I think these TV shows that depict people as being obese um, really has put um, a dark mark on people that are not a size 22, a size 26, a size 28. You know, now if you're a size 14, you're big. Um, And it's not necessarily fair, um, but it's true. You have to deal with the negative comments, but... Yeah, I know eventually people were going to get tired of the um, seeing like you're you're y'all are sudden you start off one way and then, you know, due to your career or your career choices, you have to be a certain way. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to rock with you guys. I do think that they need to be more clothes that um, fit us, complement us. You know, I know a lot of people don't design clothes with us in mind. Um, But I know there's some designers out there that do. And if you guys know some, email me, conversationswithaluciana at gmail.com. So I can can go on support, you know. I don't like wearing, other people like wearing clothes that, you know, kind of show off their arms or their, you know, breasts or whatever. You know, I like to be clothed and there's nothing wrong with that. But I wish that there were more clothes that complement us, you know. I wish... We saw more uh, models that um, we can look up and say, hey, you know, that looks like me. She wears that well. And I understand, again, health reasons. You want to be healthy. And and if that means that you have to, you know, you should be active. You should be mobile. You should do things that will make yourself better. Um, it's not okay just to sit and eat um, cake, ice cream, junk food, soda, And get yourself get bigger and bigger and bigger. No, no, I want you around for the long haul. So I want you to uh, do make the necessary changes so you can live a long, happier lifestyle. But that does not mean that you have to go into the gym and kill yourself or you see somebody and then that's the goal. And I think that sometimes not their intentions, 
because again, we don't know the reason they decided to um, lose the weight. But you know, if that's your desire and that's your goal, then you go for it. If it's not, then it's not. You know, and it's okay. Because, you know, like I said, I'm a rock with y'all. I'm going to support y'all 110%. Um, men never used, men seem like they don't have that issue. I don't know if they do. They do suffer from um, being obese and people talking about them. But, you know, they don't, they're not held to a higher standard or scrutinized like women are. Um, I just like to see us all being representative on the big screen, you know. Um, if you had four babies and, uh, you know, life, stress, things happen, you know, stress puts on weight as well. Um, you're not going to, you know, be able to, you know, go to the gym or hire a personal trainer, but do something. Walk. We need to support each other with this new movement. Um, again, I picked up some pounds. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I, I picked up some pounds and, I, you know, people have come and say, oh, you were so active back then. I'm still active. Um, or you were, you know, you was always at the gym. I don't have time for the gym. I walk, I, you know, I do things. I take care of my body because I know what physical fitness really truly means. It starts with the mind. And then if that's what your journey is, that's what you want to do, then you do it. Um, no one should force you to do it. And you shouldn't be compelled to, um, follow the ne- latest trend. You know what I'm saying? You got to be you got to be comfortable in the skin that you were in and do something about it. But don't be body shamed or don't be ridiculed into being what everybody else, the standard is. Because who said that was the standard? You know, who said that the standard? You just want to be healthy and you want to take care of your mind, body, as well as your spirit. Um, and I dress appropriately for my age. Um, and I and I don't care what people say about me because I don't, don't live my life for people. Um, although I talk about celebrities and how I felt like they were, you know, making, sending a, a mixed signals or a dangerous message to people that were plus size, that it's it's okay to, you know, lose the weight and then you get all the love and attention and respect. But if you don't know who you are, you're not going to get any of that. Thank you for listening to another podcast episode of Conversations with Amy Luciana. I look forward to speaking with you again. Until then, be kind to yourself and others. Make every day your best day. Stay encouraged and press forward, for the best is yet to come. Peace and I'm out. Let's go!